Hello everyone, we are back again and this is the third part of the videos you have been making and in case you haven't watched the previous videos you can go on the suggested videos here you can be able to see the previous parts this one is my wife marie hi this is ernest <laughs> <laughs> EBM. in case Just make you it didn't e know make it easy for people <laughs> yeah, because EBM. sometimes put makuriro there is a very difficult name for others but remember that is one among the easiest right? is, oh i always say makuriro is one of the easiest names <laughs> out of all of them people say oh it's hawaiian but then they see him <laughs> Okay, so the first part we talked about how we met and the green card get married and the process of the green card by marriage. Right. And then the second part we talked about the interview for green card, mm -hmm. things of that nature. So go back but, if you haven't seen that. Yeah, that will be, be able to help. But this part is a little bit a little bit different. Uh, it's just like we met, we know each other, got married. And within 30 days after getting married, something like that, because we got married on May 1st, May 1st. 2010, and June 30th or 31st, whatever, whatever, May anything, 30th. May 30th, whatever, we flew to Tanzania for one month. Mm -hmm. So, you are first time, I don't know, should I call it, yeah, in Africa, let's say. Yeah, that it way. was, it and truly the, was. Yeah. My first time. Okay, so, what was your first impression or your preparation like? I remember the first thing, like, you say, okay, we are going there, like, the first thing, we have to take the malaria pill, all other crazy stuff. Like. I was very <laughs> concerned because in America, malaria is like this huge thing. And and he said, oh, don't worry. And so ended up that... It, Did you I get mean, malaria? No, I didn't get malaria. But, I mean, you can. Okay, it's just one of those things. It's considered the common cold in, in, in Africa. I mean, people can still die from it, but once they get it, they always have it. It's kind of there. And for us... It's just like eating cheese here. It's just no more, yeah. I had two bites. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but for us, it's a big deal. So I would say if you are concerned, just do it. But I, we didn't, by the time we, you know, I didn't do it and I didn't get malaria. I did get some mosquito bites, but not a lot. And I was fine. And you use the net, you, whatever. You okay. Should. Another thing is so. Don't drink the water unless it's boiled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get typhoid, yeah. I don't... Yeah. Okay, so the other question is, was your first going to Africa, what was your impression of the people after being... Okay, obviously, the first impression when you met me, but the impression like when you were in Africa. When I was in Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was really taken because, first of all, you have to know that it's night and day. It's just a different culture entirely. So if you say, oh, this about America, this about Tanzania, whatever, it's just very, very different. And uh, people are so kind. And I think part of it, too, you have to remember is that um, I'm coming from America. So and it's obvious that I am white. So it's very obvious that I'm not from Tanzania. And I, once I speak, it's even more obvious because then I don't have a Tanzanian accent or even a British accent or anything. So uh, people are so interested and they want to talk and they want to ask you questions. And uh, so I was really surprised in a good way. And I thought, um, very welcomed. Very, very welcomed. And one of the, almost was the first or second day after arriving there, when we have breakfast, mm -hmm. you saw the kids coming from school. What was your first impression? Was, you saw I will never forget this. Never, ever forget this. They were coming home from school, and these children, they must have been five, six, seven years old, and they, little boys holding hands and having and walking home together, and they were so happy. They were holding hands. They, you know, they were so relaxed, and they had, and it was beautiful, truly beautiful. There was... I mean, I'm sure they're normal kids, but they they were holding hands and they were going home and. Yeah. And that is one of the things you, you you notice many places in Africa. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, yes, we are not rich like in America. In many, I mean, America there is poverty, extreme poverty too. Yeah, yeah. But here, even if people you have maybe fifty thousand salary, fifty. I mean. 50,000 US dollar, 70,000, you are still stressed out. It's because things are... Yeah, you know, yeah. but in Africa, someone, because you mm -hmm. can count on your neighbor, you can count on you on your relative. Much more. So people, like, and you can trust God, like, okay, if these things doesn't work, there is someone above power will be right. able to guide me that. Mm -hmm. So there is a little bit less stressful. The culture is much more religious. Even if you say, for example, you really don't, follow all the principles of being a Christian or a Mo or Muslim or whatever. People are still super religious. And that permeates the entire culture. And 
over there you can be able to talk about religion just with discussion even someone from it's the same it's completely normal can like you talk talking about religion the with his, some other people random people here who talk about politics randomly in it's the a bus very, oh. Not well. You can, but you have to be very careful, right? I mean, everybody here. So yeah, I mean, you have to be so careful. I remember, you know, you just don't know. What, it's better not to, unfortunately. I mean, I don't have a problem talking about these things, but this day and age, everybody's offended about something or other. So yeah. it's just better not to hear, and that's unfortunate. Unless you have good friends and you can sit down and you, you, you know, you can agree to disagree to or whatever. But in in Africa, or at least in Tanzania, was I mean, nobody got upset that we differed in opinions. It was more, oh, what is your opinion? Well, my opinion is this, what is yours? There wasn't a, I'm mad because you don't agree with me, or I'm offended, or you must agree with me. No. And the, another thing, we stayed in Dar es Salaam, and we stayed in my hometown, Kigoma. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between the two? Well, Dar es Salaam is huge. It's, it's, it reminds me of, in the way of busyness, it reminds me of, well, I've never, New York City, um, I have family from there, so uh, it's extremely busy. But, uh, it, I mean, there's a lot of dirt roads and a lot of people carrying things, and so it's different in that way. But still, very, very busy in the traffic, forget it. I mean, you could walk faster than you could by, go by car. But going to Kigoma, where you're from, it's a smaller city, and um, life is much more slow, and the best fish you can ever get on right. this planet Earth, right? Say, Daga. <laughs> okay, I don't like it, but <laughs> the best they sardines love it. It's and sardines. The Gibuka, the best fish, like yeah, the deep, and from the deepest lake in Africa, and the second lake in the Tanganyika. world. Tanganyika. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So, yeah. Uh, but people still were very, very nice. It, it you know, and very community oriented. Uh, so it really. Uh, it just, I remember we, when we were in Dar, we visited um, a relative and their next door neighbor was a widowed woman and she had a child and she had nothing, but people were still trying to help her. And you don't see that really here. I mean, people were really, really concerned. And um, I mean, I, I see it every now and then where people try to help, but here in the United States, um, unless you live somewhere like where we live in the Midwest, so it, people now it, we get that more where people are much more willing Different to help each other. New York yeah, or whatever, when it's so work. busy and you just life flies like this, then most people aren't even paying attention to their neighbors. Um, so okay, maybe if I can ask you the last question because of the time and the other people, whatever, just to give the time to process other things. But uh, if you get open to travel. Would you like to travel to visit back to Tanzania or any other African country? Oh, absolutely. I I would in a heartbeat. Um, it was incredible. I got to meet his parents. I got to meet some of his relatives. I met schoolmates of him. I got to see where he went to school. No, I, not, I didn't get to go see the safaris. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was extenuating circumstances, but next time. And, uh, but... It's so, I remember that I had asked a lot of questions beforehand about food and other things. The one thing I missed as an American was cheese. Yeah, back in the time 2010, there are not many supermarkets. <laughs> there was no cheese. There's milk. Yeah. But there was no but cheese. But now we have every, I mean, everything is there. Oh, there so much can... bigger things in the bigger cities. But yeah, so. I would go back and I would, um, if even if you know just a few words, because they'll try. Even okay. if. Can you tell us a few words you know, like if it's what you Well, learned. definitely, Mambo. That's. Basically, hey, hi, and um, and uh, what else do you want me to say? I'm uh, maybe you know, like just names of the animals you know. Oh please. goodness, everyone's gonna laugh at me because <laughs> I'm an adult, and these are the things that I know. So Twiga is giraffe, and Simba for the Americans or people who have seen Lion King, Simba truly it is really lion, and. Uh, Let's see. Oh, a uh, kifaru is uh, is a rhinoceros, and monkey is um, nyani, and uh, oh, chewy is tiger, or could it also could be uh, like a leopard, leopard uh, something like that. Uh, uh, kondo is a sheep, and uh, goat. goat is mbuzi. Lots of mbuzi running around. The, oh, and chickens too. Chickens are cuckoo, and you—that was one thing I loved. <laughs> is that okay? You know how if you have a cat in America and they're outside cats, and then they come home, and you're not worried because they know where they live. The chickens do the exact same thing. Now, don't laugh for people who are farmers. 
I grew up in California in a city. So this <laughs> was very different to me that there were chickens that people owned and they were all <laughs> over the place during the day, but they came home. I know, forgive me for being naive, but so I, there's chickens everywhere. There's goats everywhere. It was goat is I, the crocodile. It's mamba. <laughs> so I made a joke. And so some people think it's funny and some others I said, mambo mamba. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <'Cause it's... laughs> and the... but, um, it... and what is Kobe? Kobe. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a frog. No. No, it's a turtle? Yes. <laughs> and what is it Oh, Churda is, Churda yes. Chur Chur <laughs> is, okay. And, I will tell you, okay. And if you want to display, I mean, you want to yell to Claire, how, what words do you use? Swahili words. <laughs> Pisha! <laughs> Sasa Ivi, do it now! <laughs> yeah, so, those are the things. She knows some few things here yeah. and there, and she uses them very well. So. Uh, but the other thing is Shkamo. Yeah. That's the big one. This is, I love. This is something that I really, I the respecting of elders is... Um, we try to really get our children to understand that that's a really important thing. Um, they have a real beautiful And Bennett has been there once. Yes, he got to go. So maybe sometime you'll have him on here and he can talk about it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, everyone. Andy, we really appreciate Don't forget for... to subscribe and keep watching all of his videos. They're fantastic. <laughs> Tell everyone about it. <laughs> and you, too, can have a YouTube channel. Exactly. Thank you, everyone. Andy, I really appreciate you for taking time to be on the be the favorite guest on the show. Thank you. I'm so glad I got to be here. Maybe you'll okay. have me again. One, if maybe. you like it. Yeah. If you're going to watch them, obviously, <laughs> that means we don't need to make no more videos. I know. I, who like knows? Them, I can bring her on other topics. Yeah, and put it down in the comments. Yeah. If you want, what topic we want to share, because there are certain topics maybe it's not, but if you want to, okay, can you talk topic this one with yeah. me? Maybe there's women things that, that you want to know about. I'd be happy to share. Yeah, so thank you for one and we really appreciate. Goodbye.